Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of I have no clue what I'm doing. Okay, so last episode we set the cables on fire basically and we're trying to figure out a solution to this very intriguing problem. It's a very good problem. So my solution is to use another turbine. Low voltage turbine, right, right. Pretty, pretty easy to make, right. And also hook it in via one of these uh, machine casings. So we're gonna start out with uh, just making an aluminum machine casing. We haven't done many of these guys, so um, I mean, last last chapter was crazy. We made so many machine casings, so I can only expect the same thing from this chapter. But uh, get those aluminum done, get those wrought iron done. We need thicker wires then. That, that must be the problem. <laughs> I don't want to make another steam turbine though. I will definitely need the battery box later on. And, and the steam turbine. So, um, yeah, those those are for another project. When in doubt, figure it out. That's what I like to say. And uh, today we figured out that one, two, three, four, five, six, that will cover one side, one, two, three, four. We'll cover the other side. Slab them together and you get five, eight times co co copper wires, which is I'm pretty sure that's what we need. And this guy has been producing rubber sheets for these. Extract them, get those rubber sheets, put them in there. This guy needs a lot of liters of rubber for this to work, so, um, yeah, it will we'll take a little bit. But now, we've got the expensive ones. Transformers are more than meets the eye. And that's what we're gonna be making today, is, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I need two of these guys? What? Why would I need two of them? What the heck? That, that doesn't seem right. You best not question these things like I do. Let's get to it. But I'll, first, let's just see if this this would work. This this could definitely work. And uh, it is getting energy. Not enough energy though. We need more energy from this side, I think. Yeah, this is this is this is jank right here. This is some real jank nonsense. Yeah, we definitely need transformers. That is definitely the solution we're looking for here. Uh, basically, the problem is that we do not have four. Turbines running over there. We could do that, right? That's dumb Because there's a machine called the transformer And transformers do good things, okay, so let's get started making this Boom This is literally the easiest machine. I think I've ever made easiest machine that easy Yeah, this is a this is a great television show. We're making here. This is a this is a great television show Look at this we got Transformers, the greatest television show. Now this is wrong. <laughs> we need to invert this with our wrench. I'm gonna be smart here because we don't want it to go there or there because that's where the chlorine's gonna come from. Hydrogen will probably go down. Maybe, actually, chlorine can go down. What am I saying? That is just dumb. That is so dumb. Which, yeah, now it's getting two amps, which is still not enough power for this guy. It's, this guy is power hungry. Battery. Box. What it does is great stuff, and uh, we need a battery box, I think. <laughs> I think we need this. I think we need that. None of this stuff is going to work, I'm pretty sure. I don't care. We'll try it. If it gets it to work, that's good. If we didn't try, we wouldn't know if it would work or not. So, what's the point in not trying at all? I guess... These gotta be... The legendary copper... Cables... And, uh, of course... We're not doing no silly... Silly amount of batteries, we're not doing four batteries. Four batteries, that's for losers, you know? If you, if you only use four batteries... You're a loser, okay? Why use four batteries when you can use more? Like eight or sixteen. Like the rest of us cool fellas. And I guess, as far as batteries go, it's gotta use these guys, oh, no. <laughs> it's gotta use the guys from over here, yeah. Um, of course, these guys are low voltage batteries. These guys, what are these guys gonna do for that? Wait, what if this box explodes because we're using the wrong type of batteries in it? We'll find out. Double A batteries, yeah, they work just as good as triple A batteries, right? Just like double A video games. Okay, we need to hook in these cuprum cables real quick. Cuprum is a great name for copper. That's what the Romans called it, because they were cool. 
And uh, that hooks everything in. Wow, now it's actually working. It is actually doing how I want it to do. Never fear, I do have more batteries somewhere. This box here, I think, no. This guy, no. It's in the crate. I think that's, yep. Yeah. That's it, don't worry, don't worry. I got, I got more batteries. We're gonna be moving the actual battery box so it's more efficient because the placement of that was like, it, it was literally sketchy. It was not good, it, this is bad. This, this is, a, this is bad. Okay, we gotta fix this. It, this is not how we do things here. We make things good and proper. And to do things good and proper, properly, we'd go like this. <laughs> batteries in the bottom. Well, not that many batteries. That's that's kind of kind of rubbish. That that was that was atrocious. That setup was disgusting. That setup was so bad it violated the Geneva Convention. That's how bad it was. Holy crap. But I think that's an episode done. We got this red iron three oxide dust. And I, I don't actually know what this is This is good for. That, That's the same as banded iron, correct? Can I just send this to the blast furnace and... Uh, it's using stainless steel. Stainless steel? Well, This is just banded iron, basically. <laughs> nice. I love you, Bauxite. You're my favorite. Got my aluminium and my Bauxite producing my iron. It's yum. And now, it is time for us to do some good stuff today. Which, uh, we already did a bunch of good stuff. We got a bunch of stuff done. What are we doing now? I don't even know. Actually, I'm gonna show you all a bit of a trick to get even more iron out of your iron and Bauxite and all of that goodness that we just did. That produced this stuff. Concentrated red mud. Concentrated red what? Well, it just goes into here. Um, one of these. It goes into one of these guys, right? We need oxygen. Remove the oxygen. Shove it in the red mud. That's 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 not red mud. That is that's wrong. Concentrated red mud. What is what is this? <laughs> Comes from this and blast furnace on that can do. Oh, oh, it's just a waste material for now. Hang on a second. Medium voltage roaster is kind of what we needed for that one thing, right? Hang on a second here. There, there's this thing we need called a roaster. Medium voltage roaster for this. So this guy produces this substance called amalgam and it just builds up here, right? And we could not process that for the longest time. But now we can actually do that, technically. Okay, so we need to make steam turbines for... Actually, let's just... I don't know what we're doing. I mean... I had a bunch of stuff. Heat exchanger, large steam turbine, and combine psych. We need energy is what I'm saying here. Energy is what we need. And to get energy, I will do anything necessary. So, we go down to this energy power generation section here. Right, right. We got solid boilers. I don't even care about solid boilers. We already haven't we already done this? Yeah, we've we've technically already done this. Anyway, we need this large steam turbine. Which I'm gonna get started on working. So we need to make 57 of these steel turbine casings, which is around well. I mean, if I had to guess, that's it's probably about like 15 point like two five or something. Yeah, 15.25 something uh, steel turbine casings, as far as I'm aware, because these guys, they make four. So, question is, how many times do I need to craft this to get to that? And I think you need 14 light concrete for that, which would mean I need 28 of these guys and then 57 of these guys. Okay, so I got, um, got the stuff we need to make the actual thing itself. One, two, three, four, five... Uh, we already got some of them, but uh, that, don't, that don't matter. That don't matter much to me. We're just making this machine casing. Oh, it just needs a machine casing? Dang, that's nice. I guess we multiply everything by 15 in this recipe, so for steel plates, of course, 15 times 4 would be 60. Why not just do that? <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we need 30 of the other guys. That's going to be 15 more. 
right? Yeah, that'd be exactly what we need. So we should have these guys in the lathe. Wait, no, it'd be 30, because we're making the big guys. We're gonna need 15 more. Yeah, this is this is getting interesting. Well, you all probably were wondering what this giant square we have here is for. This is the new factory for big voltage. So big voltage is gonna be the uh, the turbines and things. We're starting with the turbine because the turbine we're gonna need a lot of energy, right? Right? Yeah, of course we are. And uh, to get that energy, we're gonna have like a million solar boilers over there. This giant turbine here, and uh, we'll probably have multiple giant turbines set up. We'll also have smokestacks that will vent the exhaust steam from each turbine, so that way I don't have to deal with that nonsense. And you can see I've got smokestacks over there. What that what, that guy is dealing with carbon dioxide, and that other guy is dealing with sulfur trioxide, just putting it into, uh, into the atmosphere where it belongs. This, of course, is a temporary roof. Of course, I mean, I would have used dirt ages ago, but I got sick and tired of that because it looks disgusting after a while. Like, at first, whatever you build with dirt looks amazing, right? Then, in, in, then, like, in a month of playing in that world with dirt for your base, you just get... It gets old. This gets old, but, uh... Dirt gets old faster, okay? I got 60, and uh, we're gonna have 30 of these guys pretty soon. We're gonna have to bash them with the hammer, which is... Uh, we only got 18 uses on the hammer, so... That's sad, but... It's aluminum time! Let's go! Time for our replacement hammer made of aluminum, because aluminum is really nice. Everybody loves this blue aluminum. I got 60 turbine casings, which is ridiculous, but... Okay. Now, what else do I need for this guy? I need, like, um... Turbine alternator, alternator coils? Oh, we just need the dynamo hatch. Which is made like this. Oh, what a pain in the... Eh, it's not too bad. Springs. I saw that you can make the springs in a metal bender using long tin rods, which is better than the way I was doing it by hand. Do keep in mind that this hatch could be mega voltage, medium voltage, or however you want to call it. I just gotta find the hatch on here. Where, where is this guy at? It's like... Oh, there's a maintenance hatch too? Large steam turbines back there. This guy here is what we're looking for. Put him there. And, uh, we can... That is not what I wanted. I wanted to just find out about this. Could be... Oh, my. Oh, yes. Let's see about these hatches. I see a lot of uh, opportunity to customize these hatches here, which, um... MV Dynamo Hatch. That's good. Okay. What? What is this? Excuse me. How do you make this? Oh. Oh, dear. That is... That's not happening right now, but... Yeah, that, that is not happening right now. That is definitely not happening right now. Okay. And this guy's circuits in like a tin cable, so pretty easy stuff. In fact, it was it was so easy I was able to just do it right there. So um, now we just gotta make these guys. They look like a bit of a pain in the butt. So we need 16 plates for these. 16 more plates for these. Steel screws, of course, for the actual things. Uh, we'll need even more steel screws. Because that's just how it goes. Oh, it's almost time to replace the salt, too. That's that's nice. I like that. Okay, we're gonna be getting an aluminum salt, so it's all shiny and blue. What what happens if you put bolts in the bending machine? Oh, well, probably not good things, obviously. And dang, we actually got this thing all done. And we just need three of those. Don't make any more. And then we make this guy. Yeah. Wait, what? Three of them? I need more? Oh, I've done something wrong. Whoops. Alright, so having started working on this wonderful task of making this machine thingy that we are making right now, I can tell you, it's not very hard. At all. This is this is literally so easy. Okay, what you do is you take this into the lathe, you go get an ironing it. You also need steel. One, two, three, four. Mm, two. Yes. Two steel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. One, two, three. Oh, what? No, I don't. I don't want to do four. What is? What is four? Well, we're gonna find out what four is. I. I don't know what four is, but uh, I can only assume 
It is not what we wanted, and it is not. Well, uh, that's sad. That's that's okay. Let me just throw it back in this guy. See, it does does magic here. Fixes all of our problems, right? Right and good. <laughs> back thing. It's these guys go in the bender. One of them at a time will become the things we need. This is done. Iron rods are ready for polarization, which means they go to this guy here who polarizes them really quickly because it's, it's, no, there's no problem for him. To the assembling machine goes this and this, and then we got these, and our machine casing's already done. I? I got a little sidetracked and already made that, but who, who cares? It's already done. Give me that. Thank you. Yes, so, um, this is our dynamo hatch, and we've completed the quest, and, uh, I'm happy. We, we've completed another low voltage quest. Which, it looks like next episode, we're gonna have to make this large gas turbine. My ultimate goal being to reach the combine cycle turbine, which will be able to produce steam and other stuff for our wonderful usages as power. But let's get this guy set up, kind of. I mean, honestly, so the combine cycle turbine can basically make... The idea is that it makes steam from the heat of the gas it burns, but also it burns gas into energy. Both of those at the same time. And I, I mean, I don't even have everything I need to set this thing up, and I, I don't know where the final location of this thing is going to be. Probably between both of these buildings would be ideal. But we did some good stuff today. I mean, there's no point in me setting this up right now, right? Or, or do you all want to see me do that? It, I mean... Okay, let's just go ahead and do it. Alright, so this, of course, is a temporary roof. And we're gonna put down our steam energy... Oh. Why don't we just build it over there? Like, closer to this wall. I, I, want, I want it to be close to this wall so we can provide energy through the wall. Okay, so this section is three blocks long. And the front section is also, like, three blocks long or so. It needs a maintenance hatch on one side at the end probably would be nice. I like the way they have this set up. This, this is pretty good. So this is a total of one. No, oh, it's, it's basically just three plus three. So it's nine blocks long. Okay. And I assume the alternator goes back here where this guy goes. This just makes sense, okay? So alternators, they're basically, they can either generate power or they can generate force, like, you know what I mean? Like, they can generate electricity, or they can generate kinetic energy. Then I'm pretty sure here goes the actual turbines, hooked in like this. These guys will spin around, spinning these alternator coils. Fortunately, we have this roof over top of this thing, so it uh, won't explode if it rains, but I like to have a block of extra space around it, just, just in case. You never know when this guy's gonna just go boom, and, and, and ruin your day. So these three are going to be where we put our inputs and output hatches at, so we're not going to mess with those, but yeah, basically the rest of this thing, sides, everything is like this. So we need a maintenance hatch, inputs, and output hatches, but we can do that in a, next, in a future episode today. I am done. This, is, this was a lot.